That's it right now, Tina. What's up, YouTube? This is Crime Spatcher back here with another video for you guys, and today we're gonna be talking about what happened to the Ninja Gaiden series. All right, the first Ninja Gaiden series came out back in 1991. That was pretty long ago, you know, before any of the big major consoles came out and stuff like that. And now uh, the last Ninja Gaiden came came out in 2014. Now, this, this 2019 has been what a five years since we've seen the Ninja Gaiden game. The question we're asking here is what happened to the series? What happened to the games? The answer is simple. The last Ninja Gaiden game, Z, which came out in 2014, did not do as well as they expected it to do. In fact, it received poor reviews. So did Ninja Gaiden 3. Even though the reviews for that weren't as bad as Ninja Gaiden Z. But both games did not do what Team Ninja had expected. The developers, Team Ninja, did not expect the reviews to be that bad for the game. And due to the results not being what they expected them to be, well, that led to Team Ninja deciding to put this game on the shelf and leave it there. Now, it's not to say they completely gave up on the franchise because they decided to develop another game called Neo. Pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but anyways. It's came another game, Ninja Game, that came out in 2017, and well, I can't say. I can't even go speak much on the game since I, I didn't play it whatsoever. You know, I didn't even play the. I played some. I played one Ninja Gaiden game. I do remember playing it. I don't remember which one, but I do remember playing it. But anyways, it's you know the reason why this game has not came back is because Team Ninja doesn't want to make the same mistakes again as they did with. Ninja Guiding 3, Ninja Guiding Z, and you know I don't blame them. You know once you know developers end up making a game, and you know the first Ninja Guiding did really well, the second one did pretty good, and you know when you know, they run into big stumps or you know wall blocks like you know making the third game in the franchise and series, and it doesn't does do as well as their you know predecessors, you know or the previous games. And all while at the same time, Team Ninja has indeed have not forgotten about this game. They are purposely not, you know, releasing another Team Ninja Gaiden game because they don't want to make the same mistake, like I said before. And, you know, it's very common for developers and, you know, publishers to do this because, you know, once a game does pretty bad, you know, or it receives bad reviews and they do as well as they expected it to do, you know, a lot of things can result to changes in you know budget you know game wise and development and you know costs to you know produce the game and stuff like that you can't just keep making games you know bad games and producing bad games because you're not making much of a profit off of just you know making bad games of course you want to make a good game that's going to make a lot of money it's going to sell really well you know and that's what happened with ninja gaiden you know and i keep saying gaiden gaiden but and it's like you know if you want a game to be successful you want to learn from your past mistakes and team ninja has indeed you know taken that lesson and using it right now by seeing they learn from their past mistakes and by not rushing to make another ninja gaiden really soon and really quickly because i know this game was a really popular game back on ps3 and xbox and you know this game deserves to get another chance this game deserves to come back but this time they want to do it right and which is why i believe they have this game on the shelf right now and uh, waiting for the right moment to you know announce that they're making another ninja gaiden you know four and you know i don't blame like i said i don't blame them for doing this decision and you know not to mention they are indeed have another game that they did make back in 2017 uh neo neo i think that's how you said and the game itself didn't receive all that bad reviews from when I remember that game that came back in 2017. Yeah, it didn't receive all that bad reviews. So, you know, it is indeed getting another game coming out in 2020, Neo 2. Neo 2. So, you know, hey, you know, they're saying something, right? You know, at least Teen Ninja has another game in the franchise, another franchise entirely that, that they could take pride in and work on and improve. Hence, how, you know, Neo is indeed going to be getting another game in 2020, Neo 2. So, you know, they're saying a lot about what they're improving on and what they're working on right now. And Team Ninja, I don't feel like the developers have forgotten about Ninja and Gaiden. I keep saying Gaiden. Man, force to it. Anyways, it's it's like Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden is indeed not forgotten about. And it's crazy because, 
you know, Ninja Gaiden was one of those games that I heard about, but I feel like this game is kind of underrated because it wasn't talked about as much as it should have been, you know, and like, I heard about this game, but it's like, you know, this game, it, like, it was there, you know, it was around, you know, it, a lot of people played it, it just, it never stood out, stood out, but maybe, you know, maybe that's a good thing, you know, it's one of those very good underrated games, and that's what makes Ninja Gaiden Ninja Gaiden. And the fact that, you know, that they're still Team Ninja hasn't decided to put this game on the shelf right now is saying that, you know, they're working on another game right now, but, you know, they haven't forgotten about it. You know, of course, when they do decide to bring this franchise back to life, they don't want to, you know, kill the franchise because, let's be honest, sometimes this method of waiting does indeed and can will backfire. Like, you know, for example, if you decide to, you know, make a game or the fourth game installment of a series like Ninja Gaiden, and then if you decide to, you know, wait a long time, and now the fans are hyped to see the game, but the game is a bust and it doesn't do well or sell well, then the franchise might just die completely right then and right there. I mean, think about it. I mean, you waited all these years, you know, to really re release, you know, the fourth installment in the franchise itself, and it's like... If you decide to wait so long, you know, the, the you know the fan base is gonna be expecting the game to be amazing. You know, they're gonna have high hopes, a lot of expect, great expectations, high expectations of the game. And if it doesn't deliver the way they expect it to, well then that's kind of a bust. You know, it's not gonna sell as well. You know, words gonna travel faster that Ninja Gaiden did not live up to the potential that the players that thought it was gonna live up to. But I don't feel like Team Ninja is going to make that mistake. I feel like they're going to come through and do their thing, man. And they're going to come out with this new Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden own game. And, you know, they're going to do something with it. Even though they made no announcements yet of a Ninja Gaiden 4. But I'm pretty sure they're going to do it. You know, since now, right now they're working on EO, you know, um, 2 for 2020. So, you know, I probably start checking, checking in on that and see what's going on with that game. And for now, you know... Let's just hope and say that they haven't completely forgot about the game and they're going to continue working and keep making progress with this game. And as far as this is what happened in Ninja Gaiden, you know? You know, this game is really popular back on PS3 and Xbox. It's, it's kind of sad how it just, you know, disappeared. Not to say that the fans forgot about it, but it's kind of those games where, you know, you knew it was there on PS3, but if you, t like, you bring it up now during this current day in console time, you know, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not very talked about. Let's put it that way. It's not very talked about. And it's sad to say that this game has yet, you know, to make its big comeback. But, you know, we should have faith in the developers and the publishers and, and see what it can do to make this game great once again. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Crown Spectro. And I'll see you guys in the... Oh, my almost forgot. You guys, so much you think down in the comment section below about Ninja Gaiden. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.